we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood's East Tonsorium and another shave. Today we're doing a straight shave with Wickham Soap Company's Nymphale de Ergia. Ergeria. I'm butchering the pronunciation, but um, so <clears throat> this is a newer release from Wickham Soap Company. Um, this is starting to become a favorite soap maker of mine. They're an artisan out of England. Um, and <clears throat> some of their more popular scents are their uh, their classic 24, which is a take their take on uh, uh, Creed Aventus, their uh, Irish Tweed, their um, I I have their English Rose, uh, their Club Cola is a really popular one, um, and they also do some limited scents. Um, I've got Union Square. I've used that in the uh, on the channel a couple of times, as well as WCS uh, Le Bleu, which is their take on Chanel, or Bleu de Chanel. So this, all right, starts off, and you get the citrus top right away, um, but instead of it being a really, it does have some sharpness to it, um, but uh, it's immediately um, taken with the sweetness of fig. But the fig is far from overpowering. It just perfectly complements the, the citrus notes in it. And then to backing it up, you get some hints of wood and amber. Um, now I have used this once already. Um, the soap base is a great performer. The scent does evolve. Um, the wood and amber do come out um, as you shave with it. Um, if you're looking for what this might smell like, um, it is on the colony side of the house, um, uh, but not obnoxiously snow. So uh, it's in the uh, colonia um, vein of fragrances, and as such, um, this is almost a dead ringer for uh, Aqua de Parma's Blue Mediterranean um, Fico d'Amalfi. Uh, so a Malfi fig, um, and it, which is just an absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning um, fragrance, and this is just right there. This this immediately jumps jumps up into my top ten fragrances that I have in my den. Um, that's how good it is. So uh, what we're going to be using today is my Wolf Whiskers. This is a twenty five millimeter. This is the original Black Wolf knot, and for razors. We're using the Urn Ator Shoulderless Swayback. It's a 5 8 round nose razor. So, without further ado, while I'm lathering this up, I'll go ahead and put the scent notes up right here. They're not the scent notes, but the ingredient list, I should say. So Wickham is a vegan soap, but I'll tell you what, this performs just as good as any and all vegan soaps that I've tried, to include Sapinifitio Vericino, um, and is actually a better performer for me than uh, Martin de Condre. Doesn't load quite as fast, although I really haven't loaded all that long, and I've got more than enough lather. Um, I do bloom this soap, um, but like I've said in previous videos, I bloom every soap except the softest of soaps and creams. So, I think that was close to a total load time of maybe 30 seconds, and you can see how much portal lather and lather I've got. Um, I dumped the bloom water in, and we're ready to go. So let's get a little bit mixed up here and work some air into the lather. So the one gig I will give Wickham Soap Company on their soaps, whoops, is post shave is very good slickness during the shave is very good cushion is very very good um, but 
the uh, residual slickness could be improved. Um, this is something that I've found with a lot of vegan soaps. Um, is it the slickest vegan soap I've used? No. That would be Texas uh, Soap Company. Um, is it the most cushioned? No. Is it the easiest to lather? No. Um, however, I think, in my opinion, taking residual slickness out, this probably has right up, and, and like I said, this is right up there with the uh, Sapa Nefitio Vericino 4.3. Um, probably the best overall, um, just it's got a great face feel. Um, feels real silky on the face. And got a little bit more to go. You know, the, what, the one gig I would give it is the the residual slickness um, is leaves a little bit to be desired for me. And again, this I use the same type of water for every soap, and different soaps are going to react differently to different types of water, whether they're hard. To hard water or soft water. Um, being where I am, testing my water hardness is not the easiest thing in the world. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my hot towel and I'll be right back. Alright guys. So as stated, this is in the colonia. The colonia. Uh, vein of sense but it's it's not a traditional I mean it, like I said this is close to Aqua de Parma Aqua de Parma is a blue Mediterranean um, fecal de Malfi There's a pretty interesting story that goes behind the name of this. This is actually a uh, garden fountain. In, uh, in Italy. Named uh, the Ninfeo de, de Rodia. And... Uh, I, I, I don't want to do the story miss um, I don't want to mess the story up so I'm not going to try and um, recite it from memory But if I remember correctly, the actual fountain this is supposed to be is down on the Amalfi Coast. That's fairly famous. Tell you what, this just smells amazing. Um, I 
I'm actually getting an okay residual today. Probably use a little bit more water. That's all good. That's what subsequent passes are for. Speaking of which, you guys get bonus straight razor shaving today. Put a healthy dose of water in here. Oh yeah, nice and wet. So yeah, I did just get this soap in the other day. Um, and this is one of those soaps where come by the room and I'd see it laying there have to take a whiff <coughs> some pretty good feedback there audible feedback The dual slickness is okay. A little better than the first pass. Too. What are we doing on time? Yeah. Thank you. 
beautiful sheen on this soap. <clears throat> Yeah, slickness has gotten better as the shave has gone, which means it was a little on the dry side when I started. Here we go. Blade, I still haven't had a chance to touch up any of my blades yet, any of my straight razors, which is why you've seen me using more safety razors recently is a lot of my blades the uh the edge is starting to degrade a little bit i just haven't had the time nor the energy right now to really devote to taking them to the stone just giving them a quick refresh so there's a little bit of feedback today nothing too bad Nothing that the alum won't tone down. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we're all done with the shave, uh, all done with the post shave. Um, ended up going with the matching aftershave balm uh, by Wickham, and if you haven't tried this stuff, really is some really good balm. Um, it's in a clear, uh, it's clear it's not your typical balm it's more of a clear salve um, so it looks like an ointment but it goes in you put it on and you think man it's gonna be oily just like other balms and then you don't need a lot of it either And it's just gone and it just soaks right in and it leaves your face feeling very very nice so nice balm if you haven't tried it um, so just go over what we used today we did use Ninfeo de Egeria Egeria Not, I'm, I'm Americanizing it I'm bastardizing it I know that's all good we use wolf whiskers 25 millimeter black wolf Custom, synthetic, and the razor for the day was the Urn Ator Swayback 5.8 Brown Point Razor. So, 
Review wise, let's uh, let's get into some scores. So, loading, um, really easy to load. Nine out of ten. Lathering, again, nine out of ten. It lathers up really easy. It's got a fairly wide water band as well. Uh, not quite as wide as what I just finished using, which was uh, uh, Jeeves of Hudson Street. So the water band is a little bit shallower. So that's an eight out of ten. Uh, cushion protection, 9 out of 10. Slickness, 9 out of 10. Residual slickness does suffer. It's a 7 out of 10. Um, stability is a 10 out of 10. Face feel is a 9.5 out of 10. The face feel when it's on the face is, is awesome. It's really silky smooth. Feels really, really nice. Uh, post shave, uh, it's an 8.5, which is, is pretty good. And uh, so its overall performance score is 8.77. 8.78 if you're rounding up, but we'll go with 8.77. Uh, my enjoyment factor. Um, I enjoyed this scent as much as I did the Jeeves of Hudson Street scents, which were both outstanding. Um, I've had really good luck with scents from Wickham. They do an outstanding job. Um, and this enjoyment score is for the soap maker as a whole. It's not necessarily for this particular scent. Um, I really enjoy Club Cola, I really enjoy English Rose, I really enjoy Union Square. You know, the ones that I've used I really, really do enjoy. Um, so they do a very nice job. Strength of Scent, I didn't really get into that earlier, it's probably around two and a half and it stays about right there during the shave. It could be a little bit stronger, um, but is it the perfect, is it going to get a perfect one? No, it's not going to get a perfect one. Um, so 0.95 is the enjoyment factor. So all said and done, it gets an 8.34, which is one of the better scores that I've had here. Um, I debated giving it a full one, but there are some things about uh, the soap that distracted me from the overall enjoyment factor I had with the, uh, the shave. Uh, so yeah, 8.34, great score. Um, you can find them at... Uh, the site listed below, I can't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, it's like uh, wshavecompany.co.uk, uh, something along those lines. But link will be in the description. Um, you can find them there, and you can also find them at West Coast Shaving. So uh, if you're stateside and don't want to pay for the overseas shipping costs, you can get it at West Coast. Um, yeah, stop on by a shaving cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. Uh, we'd love to have you there. We're a growing site. We're about to pick up, hopefully, um, things will start picking up again for the uh, for the uh, Christmas season. Don't forget, um, we've got uh, the year on PIF giveaway. The uh, NFL, uh, the college football PIF is still ongoing, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, I do have one addition to the uh, uh, the PIF, my PIF. Um, this is going to be a 1955 fourth quarter, so a Z4. I believe it's a Z4 is an A4. Excuse me, an A3. I don't know what I was thinking. This is an A3 Gillette Super Speed Red Tip. This is in user grade condition. Um, so this is going in the PIF. So now we've got two single edge razors and a dual edge razor go along with the two brushes and uh, plethora of soaps that are in there. So yeah guys, stop on by and uh, check it out and uh, I'll see you on the shaving cadre guys. Tag with Z. Peace.